All right, <clears throat> hello everyone. Ooh, let me uh drop that down a lot a bit. Um, how's that? I think that looks yeah, that's better. Um, big news, big news. Um, I'm waiting on them to accept the invite so I can uh, give you guys the update. hear me all right? Um, I might have to raise my audio a little bit. Oh no, that sounds good. Okay. Okay. So we have, here we are. We are at, I don't know what this yard is going to be yet, um, but this is almost at the end of the is where the 
line ended. Um, this is the Potter Valley Railroad's uh, Grady Branch that crosses here, crosses the main line. Um, this control point is called uh, Twin Towers, just because the two interlocking towers. Um, the end of the line extend it from uh, right here on this curve with this crossing. I extended it all the way over. Oop, let's load in. All the way over. Brought in this yard. There it is. That's what it's called. Spring River Yard for the Spring River Railroad, um, which has their own branch here. This little cutout. Um, and then they'll, they're going to have some industry of this division I've been working really hard on and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like here. So the double main line the double main line will come in uh, two tracks will branch off you can see one of them is already starting out on a bridge um, they'll both slowly incline up track on the left is going to go twice as high as the one on the right because Cicera, Texas is going to be ta-da, it's going to be a junction, kind of like, what is that, Santa Fe Junction um, so tracks will curve off to the right from ground level to go to the Talladega Division to the right um, tracks will go straight through to the King Division to the north. Um, tracks will curve to the left to go on to the Union Pacific Magnolia sub to the west. And then there's going to be a total of right will curve and turn left to go north. Things are going to need to go from the north to the west. Things are going to need to go from the north to the east though. Well, they can just use these are going to be the two bridges um, I've started to set up the support uh, pillars here, but I went ahead and threw down some freight cars just so I could make sure I had my heights right on the bridges, give enough room for clearance. But this will be a really great spot. here, and there's going to be another crossing, probably right around here, because I'm going to need to make that curve really wide in order for trains to pick that up speed on a road. Oh yeah, I built this as a gradual slope, so they'll have enough room to clear. Um, is this based off of a real route? Not, well, mm, yes and no. It's, the route is fictional. Like, everything being where it is, is fictional. But certain spots are going to be reminiscent of real life areas. Um, like this is uh, kind of similar to Santa Fe Junction. I think that's what it's called. Santa Fe Junction, Kansas City Junction, something like that. Um, Station. Landon Station is kind of like a reverse Austell. Um, the tracks will come around a curve, come straight through. The station will be on the left instead of on the right. And the tracks will curve to the right instead of curving to the left. So there will be spots that are reminiscent of other places. Like, um, let's zoom all the way out. So the Talladega Division, which will go to the east, northern part of the line the um, oh 
Oh, so it is called Tenebrae Bethel. Wow. And, and it's in Kansas City. Okay. I didn't think I got that right. Um, so the Talladega Division, or actually on this side of the district, it'll be called Talladega Speedway. Um, the Talladega Speedway will have an hostel like area. Um, so it'll, it'll all be, you know, kind of, you know, like I said, there will be places that will remind you of real life places. Um, the customization within that area might be a little different, but um, the general idea will be the same. Um, just to give it ahead and space it out. I figured out that every two and a half baseboards is about a mile. So I spaced, I tried to space these out about two miles or so. Every signal is about two miles apart. Um, some signals are a lot farther. Like you see that one is way farther. Um, but um, yeah, it, this, this division is not necessarily about speed. It's also not necessarily about industry is just kind of there. Um, the other divisions on the district, um, the other Norfolk Southern divisions at least, will have, you know, a lot more industry or they'll have a lot more stations. Like the Talladega, Talladega division will have uh, four stations, two yards, um, one branch line. Uh, that one branch line will have a lot of industries. Um, the King division, City Melange subdivision will branch off of the King Division further up the line. So uh, there will be a lot of variety. Uh, the TPKC line will be very mountainous. The Union Pacific line will be triple, triple main, um, mostly straight track. It's like a long straightaway with a couple of sidings, a couple of industries, stuff like that. Do you know when there will be another meetup? Where? Yes. So the next meetup will be March 8th, 9th, and 10th. It'll be in Austell, Georgia. Um, we will be there for three days. Um, it'll be a really fun time. Uh, I already went ahead and put on my request for it. I already told the manager about it. He said, enjoy. So it looks like I'm going to get there three days. Um, I'm really excited for it, especially because that first night we're going to do an all-nighters party. So Friday, we're going to hang out, and then we're going to stay out the whole evening, all night. We're going to catch everything that comes through overnight. We're just going to hang out the whole night on Friday and just hunker down and see what shows up. So it, it'll, be, it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. So, like I was saying in that post on YouTube, so uh, the last time I was on stream, somebody, uh, Chris Scott, mentioned, he said, uh, you should have a camping ground. I said, you know what, I really should. And I thought about it, and I was like, where should I put it? So, I decided to put it here, and I threw in a crossing, and I named it Chris Scott's Camping Grounds. That way, 
once I get up here to this area for detailing, I know to put some uh, mobile homes, some campers, some RVs and stuff right here. Um, I'm going to add in another tile right here. There will be a pretty big uh, hill right there. Um, the tracks here. Did I already set it up? set it up for super elevation all the way around the curve okay so if you guys want we can run a train from the far north and go south we can run something from the junction all the way into cannon just so that you guys can see what the line looks like so far. I think all the tracks are laid. Ditches are all laid. Not every crossing has been placed in yet, but the, um, the actual grade has been put in. Yes, it will be a long route. So this is only one of seven, well, technically one and a half of seven divisions. Um, this is the Cannon Division. Um, further down here is Cannon Yard. Um, and right here to the left of this Y, this is the BNSF Milo Sub. This will come down, it'll curve around to the south, and then it'll pretty much end right here at this portal. The Milo sub won't be too detailed, um, just because I never planned on the route being any farther south than here. But I knew that if I wanted trains to come come through there at, what, what speed limit did I set this up for? Ooh, come on, load in, load in. Um, what's the speed? 65. So if I knew, actually, I want to change that to 55. through town so like I said if I I knew that if I wanted things to come flying through here at speed I knew that I needed to extend the route past Cannon Yard in order for them to get to that speed um, so I messed around with it tried to see you know how far out I had to extend it to give trains enough room to get up to speed um, and I figured it out uh, so That's pretty much where we are with that. But yeah, we'll run from the north to the south, because we always run from Cannon Yard up, but we'll run from there down. This is uh, the Grady Branch, like I was saying, to show you guys everything. So this will be like 35 miles an hour or so. Amtrak will take the Grady Branch for this station here. Actually, no, they won't. This is This will be PVR. Potter Valley Road will stop here, and they'll transfer passengers from here. Did I say passengers? Passengers from here to Cannon Yard. I mean, to Cannon Station. Um, yes, se well, <laughs> way more than seven divisions. Uh, there will be seven divisions on this district. Um, after that, to the right of Potter District will be the Whiskey District. Um, the Whiskey District will have the other half of the Talladega Speedway, and then it'll have the Alabama Division, and then the Q Line, the Columbus Division, the Sanford Division, the Lakewood Division, and then the Funnel, which will bring everything down further into Florida. Um, to the north of the Whiskey District will basically be like took every bit of track from Atlanta to Macon and stretched it like four times as wide. Um, it'll be like going from Macon to Atlanta if it took four hours to do so. Well, <coughs> it kind of does because 214 would come up to Macon at 9 a.m. and wouldn't get to Atlanta till 7 p.m. So it kind of does take that amount of time, but with way more track and not as not so much way more trains. It'll, it'll be a massive project. Um, it's something that I've been 
wanting to do for a long time, and I was waiting on any, literally any train uh, simulator to have the building capabilities that I was looking for. Like I even downloaded Train Sim World at one point to see how that worked out. Um, and once Train 22 came out with um, an updated Surveyor, this is still Surveyor Classic, but they changed some things around. So now that Trains 22 has this way better classic surveyor, my dream can s at least start to come into fruition. So let me go up to Spring Valley Yard. Since we still have the smoke here from the engines that I had put in, that I was testing horns on, let's add them back in here so I can show you the horns that I put in. So this is Spring Valley Railroad, SPRX. Um, they're gonna run that branch line, excuse me. Their fleet is, um, am I able to type the name of the game in chat? This is Trains 22. So this actually, Trains 22 brought out a new feature as well, uh, multiplayer. So if I wanted to, or if you guys wanted to, I could set this route up as multiplayer or any route up as multiplayer, and multiple people could come into this route and we could all build things in the, at the same time, we could all run trains at the same time. It's basically like Run 8 if Run 8 also had route building. It's, it's very, very, it's awesome. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet, but I've seen it in action. It is very cool. It is very, very, very cool. Especially because with the, um, with the exterior camera on the, in the driver, with the exterior camera, when you hit the horn, the horn kind of drags itself out. But in the cab, you can do really, really short blasts and you can do them really close together. So I've always wanted to do multiplayer because that means you can do accurate horn shows with someone in the cab. Here, let me see here. There we go. That's why my voice was lower. Okay, so now I can actually bring this volume up a little bit more. Is it still playing? Oh yeah, it is playing. Okay. Okay. Those look super nice. Oh, those leasers. Yes, these are leasers. Yes. Oh, there is. Uh, what is going on? There is a doubling of my voice, and I'm sure I like that. What is this? Okay, I think we're good now. Okay, so this is their fleet, for the most part. Um, not that, that'll be a whole different short line. They do own a couple Conrail units, so that's pretty cool. Um, and they're going to run those Conrail units pretty, pretty good. There's also this, which I don't think I, I don't think I uh, modified that one. So here, let's jump in. Come on, there we go. So this is the K5 or K3HA.
Yes, you do have to pay for it. Um, Trains 2022 is not a free game. Um, a lot of the stuff on there is free. Like, these units were free. I think those were... No, those were from Jointed Rail. But these are free. So there's that one. There's this one. There's this one. really like this one. And then on to the Conrail units. And I think I gave this one a P5. Yeah! Okay. Now, for the road units. I did have, I, I had some fun. I'll put it like that. With the road units, I had some fun. Especially my latest ones. I had a lot of fun. Um, shout out to Carter. Oh, you need an RS5T? Well, you are in luck, because one of my ES44s has one. 8120, just like in real life. Um, shout out to Carter. I asked him if he had a favorite ace, and I told him I would modify the horn on that specific number. He chose 1083. So, 1083 has a custom horn. Um, this is 1216. Um, oh, that's right. I took the RR Mods Dash 9s and gave them custom horns too. I also gave 8098 a new horn, I gave 1071 a new horn I believe, and then I also gave, where is she, ah, there she is, 8099, southern girl, okay, let's see where we are now. That is from Wit Simulations. If you haven't checked out Wit Simulations, go check out their, their website. His website, wowitstrains.com, and that's trains with a Z, wowitstrains.com. Um, he just released a route called um, the Riverton Sub. It's a route based, I don't know where Riverton is, Kentucky, I think. It's a pretty big route. It's very detailed, very mountainous. It's a CSX route. There's a couple of Norfolk Southern stuff in there. Um, there's a, a short line railroad named Conway. Full custom repaints on those. Those engines look beautiful. Um, he has a lot of great freeware. Um, so definitely check him out. He's he's got great content. And I honestly I watch his streams when I'm route building because it is very relaxing. So this is 1071. Nope, I left it the same. Terrible. Um, 8098. I think I... K5 LLA? Oh, I changed it again. Okay, 1216. I haven't heard this one in game yet. I heard it when I modified it, but not in game. It's good, but I have to see what the Doppler is like. Okay. I 
It's all right. Here's 1083. Really good horn. I think 8120 had the RS5T. No, it did not. I'm so sorry. It's it's one of them. One of them has it. I know for sure. K5 LLA. Another K5 LLA. K5 LAR24. Another one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> the game, I'm laughing because I'm trying to put it into words. The game cannot handle how many custom horns I have made. If I were to line them all up right now, pretty sure my game will crash although we did just save the route so I might as well give it a go yes RR mods did really good with the dash nines being weathered they have some that aren't but I do like the ones that are um, here we go okay <laughs> Look, I was trying to find a spot that's big enough for all these engines, so here we go. This is just the NS stuff. After that, we'll move on to the other things, but... Okay, here we go. Um, 4,007. 4,010. 4,012. 4,014 version 1. 4,014 version 2. 4,016, 4,006. Now on to the others. 8099, 8010, 8094, 97, 8109. And the numbers are random. I did not match the numbers with what they sound like in real life. I just picked random numbers and chose it. Um, what is this? 8120? Yeah, 8120. Okay. 8133, 8162, 8166. Did I give these custom horns? I think I did. One of these does. Thoroughbred. Thoroughbred. I thought I did. I thought so. Oh no, I did. They're down here, right? There's somewhere. I, I know I did. Thoroughbred. Horsehead. Horsehead P5. Unless that was... No, I think that's just them. Okay. Um, 1804. Come on. Load in. There we go. 1805. 1815. Uh, 1817. Look, my game's already starting to lag, and I've only done, what is this, 21, um, 23, 24, 30, come on, load in, 31, 41, 40. wait, what is this, this is 41, what is this? This 31? Oop. Or no, we'll do that. We'll do them in... I'll do them in order of how they are here, because I'll get messed up if I do them like this. Um, 1065. Okay. That's not what I clicked. 1065. There you are. Um, Wabash. I gave Wabash its own horn. So here. This, this... Look, I'm already lagging like crazy. Okay, here. Let me show you... This is the difference between, oh, the lag is real. This is <laughs> the difference between, ooh, 
what you get when you download it on let me see 1070 okay this is what you get from the download station right yeah that's what you get from the download station I think no it's not oh yeah it is yeah it is yeah it is and then this is what you get from um, from jointed rail am I hold on a second okay mistaken backwards this is what you get from jointed rail the regular one and then this is what you get yeah, yeah. There's a it, there's a big difference in texturing. That's that's the point of what I'm trying to say. There's a big difference in textures. Okay, back to the lag fest. Now to the aces, and there are a lot of them. Not just from NS, but from UP, BNSF, KCS, CSX. No, I don't have any CSX EMDs. Here we go. 1001, 1005, 10, 11, come on, 14, 15, 16, 30, 42, 49, 51, 53, 55, oh no, they're coupling. No. Separate. Sixty. Eighty four. Eleven oh one. Eleven ten. The barcode. Eleven twenty six. Twenty seven. And twenty eight. Forty four. Sixty four. 64 version 2, 1169, 1014 version 2, 1078, 1079, ACUs 7255, 7256, 7284, 97, 300, Yeah, it's starting to it's starting to poop itself. Yeah, it's yeah. Look at that. Look at that. It's starting to go downhill. Um, which one was this? Which one did I stop at? Three hundred. Okay, three twelve. Seventy three twenty nine. Seventy three thirty two. IAC eleven eighty one. Eighty five. 97, 98, 1200, 1201, 1209, 1214, 1218, 1220, 24, right? Yeah. 30, 31, 34, of course I had to throw in, okay, <laughs> I told you it would crash, okay, um, it, it, I'll put it like this. My game crashed so hard, my stream stopped. My sh my streaming software shut down on me. That's how hard my, my game crashed. I have made so many. You know what? Actually, why am I even doing it like this? Let me just show you here. How long have I been making this route? Is technically a few months, but that version that I was on right there, I'd only been doing that for about a week and a half, maybe. 
Okay, N S. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. N S and the barcode number or barcode symbol to show you exactly how many there are. Okay, so here are some of my BNSF ones. Um, 4201. Here, let me. Here, I'll highlight them all. That way we can see how many there are in total. Maybe if I do that, will that be easier? Because I'm going to have to back in and out to find all of them. So. 305, 14, 15, 29, 35, and 40. Um, okay, now we're back to the BNSFs. 8008, 8390, three, to the Aces. Are these I can't remember if oh no because I clicked on it it threw away oh no I'm stupid <laughs> okay let's do it again no distractions um because I know I know it's over a hundred I've, I haven't done I haven't done it like this before, but I know it's over a hundred. I know for sure. Because on the old version of the route, I had lined them all up at one point, and it it crashed my game. Actually, the last time Nias was here, um, we had, I'd shown him, and it. It, it threw my game it just it th in so many words my game pooped itself silly do I have ah uh, yes I do I was about to say I thought I had CP ACUs in here but I do and CPKC ES44s and Conrail units. I forgot I had Conrail units. Um, I also have the ET44. Yep. The ET44s for CSX. I think I gave the regular one its own horn too, but. See, we're already at 47, and I hadn't even touched the NS or the UP. are custom. I gave those their own horns. I gave that one its own horn. I gave that one its own horn. All of these have their own horn. So do these and these as well as that one. That has its own whistle that I gave. The FXC stuff has its own. Nothing in the H or the I or the J. You can skip one. Oh, KCS, there we go. Uh, that had its own horn. All of these have their own. Each one of those groups, I gave its own horn just in case. All of these have their own horn. Six, 
seven. I think 8118 is what is who I gave the uh, the RS5T mm, I don't think I had any of these okay those had their own horn but they went faulty on me so I had to get rid of them <clears throat> Where's, uh... 6... 30, 31, 32, 36, 41, 44... Um, five. See, we're already at 129. I didn't even realize it. We already hit 100. probably 200 because I hadn't even gotten a UP yet it's probably 200 guaranteed it's got to be 200 let's see I didn't buy any of those so none of those have custom horns there's my oh forgot about my ACUs all of these Oh yeah, we're definitely hitting 200. I'm already at 179. Yeah, we're getting there. Um, yep, because I was about to say I gave PVRX their own. Okay. Now we're getting... To the bottom of this list oh snap I forgot when I did the custom cannon road I gave I did all these <laughs> well there we go we're over 200 um the c45s have their own I gave es 44s their own and all the aces have their own boom 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 the tier fours the 70 m's and that's it 243 different engines have custom horns made by me oh 245 aha 245 the most OP symbol on the entire system two hundred forty five different engines that have a custom horn that's insane yeah, now you can see why my game just went ahead and crashed. My game was like, I'm not going to let you put down 200. Nope. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, good grief. Okay. Well, that certainly was fun, I guess. It was something. <laughs> Fun is a is a word. It was something. Let's see. Are there any Oh, there's the Easton and the Opea and my original Sanford division before I had a plan on what I wanted to do with the route. 
Brewer sub, that was a failed one. Midway Division, that was a failed one. Well, not really failed, just kind of gave up because I, I started without a plan. Let's see, I'm trying to figure out which route we should take to run some trains. I don't want to do the Arkansas and Missouri. But that one doesn't have TRC crossing, which means the gates are going to just ring and ring and ring and ring and ring. Actually, neither does the Whiskey District. I only updated the crossings to TRC for this one and for the module, which I still have to build that up. The module would basically just be like a carbon copy of a, one of the spots on this area. Any plans on doing the Greenville District? Uh, someone else is already on that. Um, uh, two people are. Uh, Flame Rails is kind of building it. And then someone else um, on Facebook is almost done with his. And they're going to combine the two. So the Greenville District is almost, well, not the Greenville District, but at least from Atlanta to Greenville will be built into trains it's almost done um created by someone else when the route gets released i'll of course release his name because i'm remembering a, a a post he and i had commented on recently so i don't think he's cool if i name drop him just yet but um he's he's working on it he is working on it and uh, let me tell you, he's going all in. Like, MARTA tracks are being built, highways are being built. Like, he's full on building the line. Yeah. No. No, don't use changes. Because I already I saved the route. The Charlotte District? I don't know. I think the Charlotte District is already in trains. Somebody released it years ago. Let's see, we'll wait to get loaded in here. big jug of ginger tea are they North Carolina districts um, the Charlotte district is because um, Charlotte North Carolina but the Greenville district well I don't really know the Greenville district probably includes part of North Carolina because um, I don't really hear people say Greenville District often. People either just say Coastal Division or they say, um, I think it's what, Piedmont Division from Greenville to Linwood? It's something. I know, because I, well, no, it can't be, or no, it is, I think it is Piedmont, because we used to be Piedmont. Atlanta to Greenville used to be the Piedmont, and I think they just shifted that north and then gave us a new name. train down but yeah so somebody not even a month after CPKC decided on their paint scheme somebody built it and threw it in the trains so I picked them up immediately it's it's growing on me I like it I like it especially the red on the back I do like that the black and the red on the back and then the yellow stripe sure I wish the yellow stripe was like a little bit closer like if the whole radiator was yellow and black 
like if that's where the yellow stripe was, I think everybody would be happier. But I mean, at the same time, what do you expect? Because it wasn't really a merge. Canadian Pacific bought Kansas City Southern. Like, we were lucky to even get part of the engine to be reminiscent of KCS. BNSF. Either one would be realistic on this division. Pretty much everything would be realistic except for CSX. CSX would just be like run through power on something else or um, just like a, sp a spare engine that gets dragged along. Uh, but an actual CSX train wouldn't show up on this district. Yeah, here you go. You can see the full list of my BNSF stuff here. So I've got a couple ES44s, a couple Aces. Oh, I said 245, but that was just the stuff with the with the uh, the barcode uh, symbol. There's also 246, 247, 248, 249, 250, 251. And then there's the stuff from NS that didn't have a barcode, which was like eight or nine stuff. And I think there's a couple things here that didn't get a barcode. Nope, everything did. Okay, well, I was smart with UP. Flared radiators. I love the UP flared radiator 70M. I just wish they had. I wish somebody modeled in one with a notch nose too. Because the flared radiator notch nose combo looks clean. It looks so clean. There's the Tier Force, which I gave a pretty good horn. This model is done by Flame Rails, and then it had its own horn that was actually pretty good, but I wanted to change it. The interior I don't like because the cab, like the cab is, let me see, let me, see. like you can see the the cab is like bare like this, which is fine because this isn't really supposed to be modeled in when you're looking at all of this from the outside but the interior is like when you go in the interior cab it's just a, a dd40 ax like it's it's not it's not uh the actual engine also oh that's 252 because i gave her her own horn and 253 because I gave Mopac its own horn. Let me see. I'll let you hear it. Kind of realistic. And then Mopac. Before the K5HL. <laughs> That's some JR quality right there. But yeah, okay, so you, so here, this is what I'm talking about. So with the horn, if I hit it, if I hit the button just once, see how it drags out? But if I go into the interior, you can't do that from the outside. Here, look, let me try it from the outside. Hitting multiple times. 
See, it just holds it as one long one because the horn already drags out. It's an interesting bell. I do like doing a pretend horn duel. You know, I almost missed 1988 that morning because we were expecting it to show up around like 2 a.m. and then it didn't. So then at 2 a.m. I had gone to sleep because I was like, it's too early, I'm going to miss it. I woke up at 5. I woke up at, no, not even 5. I woke up at 4.30. I, I like threw myself awake. Yeah, it ran trailing third on 25A. And I was like, dude, I was like, Please, I woke up at 4.30 and I was like, please say he hasn't run yet. And someone was like, oh, uh, 25A is going through Gainesville. Man, I tell you, I got dressed so quick. <laughs> I got dressed so quick and just practically ran to Duluth. I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm not missing this. I was like, I'm never going to, I'm, I'm like, I'm probably never going to see this unit ever again on this side of, the, of America. I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. I messed up by missing when 1982 ran on 214 years ago. I messed up when Rio Grande was on 214 years ago. So once I heard Miss Katie was coming down, I was like, I'm not missing a third one. So let's see, actually, let's do that. You don't always have to have a, a special unit leading. I don't remember what all was on that train. I think it was... We'll just go with a dash nine second. No, you were facing that way. I do remember that. Miss Katie was facing her own direction. She wanted her own spotlight when she came through. Um, 214, 100% used to be that train. To be honest, they still are that train. They just don't show up through here. I remember one of the last ones I caught had triple UP, ace, and two GEs, all UP, flying. I mean flying. <gasps> That's what we should build. We should build a 214. Let me find a good ace. It sucks that I don't remember which of my aces had good horns. And because I don't have any other JR GEs, I'm just going to put two ES44s. I do remember they were each facing a different direction. I do remember that. If I, I think so. Yeah, now 28R is that train because they. <sighs> did you did you all see what they ran with yesterday? They combined 24X with 28R and ran the whole thing with six engines. I mean, granted it was only 9,000 feet of train, but still six engines. That's wild. That is wild for a hot shot that <laughs> even the day they ran with Conrail when they ran with Conrail leading they had five engines and they cleared it okay so it normally takes a hot shot almost an hour to get from um, Seneca to Greenville going north it took that 28 R barely 30 minutes they shaved off that time in half that's how fast they were going they got actually by the end of the afternoon i think they were already like north of linwood or north they were some they were way up there if 
if I could, are you saying if I could be on Discord? I was at one point. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Ah, that's right. 214 head. 214 head. Autorex up front, usually. Well, in the beginning of her days. In the beginning of my days watching 214, she had Autorex up front. Okay, I'm going to take that away. I'm going to take that away. I'm going to take this away. Take that away. Move you to the other side. And move you. Actually, I think three is enough, honestly. I mean, 24X has pre pretty much kind of sort of always been short. They just, they, they kind of do their own thing. Um, the shortest 24X I've seen was, I kid you not, like 20-something buckets. Although at the same time, 24X can be full of surprises, because the longest 24X I've seen was back when it was 212, and it was like 160 buckets. And he was on time doing track speed with 160 buckets, like the day after having 30 buckets, and the day before going right back to having 30 buckets. It was just a random one, one time out of the week that he was massive and he was still flying he was still flying I was like how in the world Ooh, why does this thing keep doing that flip it flip it boom okay One fifty three and one fifty four. Yeah, I remember at one point last year they were one fifty four ran through here with two hundred fifty six cars. The longest I've seen on one fifty three was two hundred and forty cars. Came through. Justin was on it. Um, it. Had a UP leader. They were told to bypass Shambly, and they came through Duluth at two in the morning doing fifty miles an hour. I mean they were booking it. I caught the last half of that train and those tankers sounded like they were about to roll right off the track. Those things were like I mean they were moving. They were moving. Like he was clear like they were cleared all the way to Irondale. He was booking it. NS containers on the bottom, and then I'm going to do 53 on top, uh, copy that over to everything, attach EOT, Yeah. 
Now this is Wigwag Simulations. Wigwag Simulations is another one you guys should check out. Um, they have, as you can see, Canadian National Intermodal, Swift, Expo, which these other packs don't have. Um, I'm trying to see if they have... Uh, there's one that they... Oh, E. They have E, which is cool. They also have... There it is. Patched Hub Group. And you see the containers are weathered. They've got scratch marks on them. The LOD isn't that great up close. It's... But far away, you can definitely tell that it's patched. Latest Amtrak 19 and 20 have passed through. Um, the latest time I've caught 19 was 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and he ran with one engine because the other one had problems. The latest Amtrak 20 I've caught met Amtrak 19 in Duluth. That's how he was. That was back when he ran at 8:30 p.m. So he was 12 hours late and met the morning Amtrak in Duluth. So basically, if you were in Atlanta when that happened, you saw Amtrak 20 go up and about. 40 minutes later, you saw Amtrak 19 come right into the station. Yeah, the, la the latest... <laughs> and, and Amtrak 19's usually never late. Amtrak 20's the one that's always late. Hopefully, Pack 2 gives me some good stuff. JB, FedEx, Dart Advantage, that's KLLM, CRST, okay. Alright, good. Ooh, Landstar, okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do another WWS. There you go. See, ABF freight. You get ABF freight containers. Um, you get the original BNSF containers, which these are still out there. I've still seen these as recently as this year. You don't see the logo as visible, but you'll see the patch. If you look closely, you'll see the patch. And that reporting mark is accurate. If you see BNRU, that <laughs> look for that logo because it's on there somewhere. APL Logistics they have, uh, more ABF freight, FedEx, they have FedEx containers for wigwag simulations, um, what else do they have? Schneider, they have Schneider, um, Red Hub Group patched, they also have, oh, there it is, Walmart. Patch Pacers, there it is. I was looking for it. Patch Pacer. CSX. How to play this game a bit more? So, currently, as you can tell by my seemingly sudden movements, I'm using a keyboard and mouse. So, um, for streaming, I have it to where it doesn't capture my cursor. But, um, so you can hit, uh, it's basically like Trains Mobile, but on a computer, therefore there's way more things that you can do. Um, so let me go into drive, let me just make sure that this horn is good, because I don't want to use it if it's not good. I'm fine with that. That's as good as we're going to get, so I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm going to set up junctions. I don't need track gradients. Okay, just a forewarning. Some of these curves are super elevated, and some of them need adjusting. I'll put it like that. So, Ontario Railway Productions, if you're watching, you have these three little buttons here in the corner. Um... You hit, you click, you don't get to like 
choose them individually, you just kind of cycle through them. So currently you have the arcade mode, which is, you know, you drag it automatically, goes up to speed, stuff like that. Um, using the arrow keys in the cab, you can actually move around. Um, can't really do anything else in this driving mode. But if you hit this button, you get realistic mode. Now with the realistic mode, you have control over the cab. So I can move the camera over here. You see how it goes from, well, I'm hiding my cursor so you can't see, but you'll get like the pointer finger and then you can drag open the windows and then you can, it'll show you all of your levers and switches, which you can adjust. Um, you can also uh, open your door. cab cameras <laughs> it's funny you ask that because I just noticed it the other day um, not in oh yeah this one has it the UP one has it here but it's not a visible camera model but the Norfolk Southern one has one right in the back where that number is where the numbers usually are right here the Norfolk Southern one has a camera right there and it, it is a full on camera um, you can't like look at anything from that angle but it's in there it's modeled in there for sure um, you can also swivel your chair around if you want to it doesn't adjust how you sit when you're in the cab but um, and then when you hit your horn in the cab using the lever it automatically turns on your bell like had to do a 20th century fox okay so you can use your hotkeys so if I set if I hit F that changes everything to forward if I hit Q that'll release my brakes and L will be my lights B is to turn my bell off I hit W, I'll go into notch one, notch two. Now, this is the one thing people don't like about realistic mode, is it is realistic. You're gonna have to use a lot of power to get going. Oh, wait, I forgot. I'm in realistic mode, so X doesn't activate my sander. All right, come on. Notch four. All right, I'm starting to move. I'm starting to move. I'm starting to move. Now we kind of launch forward. Yeah, the cam on the window is the dash cam, and then there's usually one in the back here on the wall. Um, it seems the UP ones don't have one mounted on the on the the wall, but the other ones have both. The Norfolk Southern ones have both cameras, um, but only the one in the cab is actually modeled in. What does an engineer have to do to be a not so nice one? Um, well, I've, I've heard that the CSX crews like to, uh, flip off, uh, rail fans. I heard they like to flip the bird. Oh, here's another thing. When you're in the realistic camera, here, let me close this a little bit so you can, t or I'll keep it open. When you're in the realistic driving mode, or not realistic camera, realistic driving mode, um, if you hit the outside view, you can see... The windows are exactly how I left them. And if I were to open the door, you see the door is open. 
Now, I can't close it from the outside view. I can only do that from the inside view. You have a question. Yes, what's your question? How many cams are in the in a loco? Uh, I would think two. One for the cruise, and then one for the exterior angle. Alright, we're at 21 miles an hour. Let me... Before things go bad, let me... <laughs> double check all my switches here uh, we're on the middle track I forgot to put a signal there that's cool uh, we're gonna switch over to this track Let's see there's no switch there for our track at least myself up forward one. Um, uh oh. Okay, and there we are. Um, was, oh, nope, come on, pass that. We're we'll stay on this track. Nope, we'll keep that not switch to us. We're gonna keep us on this track bypassing the yard we're gonna swing around onto here we're gonna stay on this middle track because the far right track is a lead track which will end for trains to back into the yard uh, there's a junction there oh yeah we'll back to single track okay so we can go back to single track and we'll run up and over. There's another one over here, right? Yeah. I'm gonna take the right track. This is the one with the curve, right? No, it's not. Um, this is at CP Twin Towers. Oops, switches are lined. Okay, everything's lined so far, all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, junction, back to single track, Let's switch us on, more curves, more curves, more curves, and then we'll re merge with the Grady branch, turn off, another junction, ooh, which one's the straighter track for this? Okay, we're going to stay on the left track here, just so it's easier for us to come back over onto the main. Um, this track, yep, already set for us. Take the siding. And then, yep, right off the siding. All the way down. Oh, I put these gates in already. I totally forgot that I already did that. Um, I'm going to switch onto the siding there. Come over here. Here we are at Landon Station. Come up to here. We are not switching. Nope. Not switching tracks. We're staying on the right side. Gonna run all the way in. Well, see the thing, the difference with that Louisiana Rail Fanner 249 is that some people do uh, film for them. Um, at least on where I live, we do film for them. That's why they're so nice to us is because we take videos, we take pictures, we send it to them, we show them like, hey, I caught you coming through here. Here's your photo. And then they'll share it to their friends and, you know, say, hey, you know, I, I got this photo taken of me, you know, running through this area. You know, 
on on our side of the of the system we do take the photo for the crew you know sure we're there to film the train as well but like for us the way we see it it's like you know yeah there's a train there but someone's driving that train and so we kind of focus on that you know like the train wouldn't be here if it weren't for the person in the cab so we make them feel uh special and uh appreciated that's the word we make them feel appreciated you know we take their picture we hang out we wave at them we wave like crazy for them you know we jump up and down you know for people who would do night photography we we try not to use really bright flashes because we know that that upsets them you know we try to keep our distance from the tracks you know if there's a derailment or an issue going on you know we'll keep our distance um, unless they call us over and then we'll talk to them um if like uh, a few months ago omar was on a train and they hit it uh 18 wheeler down in norcross joseph and i went out there we hung out there omar called us over we talked to him the police came over and they were asking us what's going on why are you so close and omar was like oh i know them they're cool you know as long as you respect them they'll return that favor there i am all right so we're coming up to our first crossing So there will be trees here separating these tracks. This will be like another branch line that will lead off into a portal. And then the third track will have like local trains that come on and off. So let's see. Here we are. 44 miles an hour. When they turn the bell off on top of you or don't give a horn show well i mean not every crew is going to give a horn show i mean not every train i catch gives a horn show and that's that's fine you know eventually it's it's the determination you know when i first went out to catch 214 i didn't get a horn show it it, it was because i was always out there that i eventually started getting them it's the dedication side of it you know they they see, you know, oh, there's someone out here every day who's out here despite not getting a horn show. And then they're like, okay, I'll give you one blast. And then eventually it's, okay, I'll give you two blasts. And then eventually it's like, hey, good to see you again. I'll give you eight blasts. And then eventually, you know, it's, eventually it's, hey, we have each other on Facebook. Hey, I'm coming through on this train. And then you end up going home with a video with 90 horn blasts from one train. Like, it's it's the consistent you know being out there that that's usually what breeds that you know type of response from them is you being out there all the time or being a kid because that's the other thing although some of them don't even do horn shows for kids i mean a lot of them they see it as a job which is what it is it's a job they don't have to give horn shows but you know when they do no matter whether it's one blast or a, a million you know it's that, that, you know, dedication. Ooh, see through auto racks. Interesting. getting there it says I'm speeding but that's because I hadn't updated the track speed for this area yet going this way oops, let me hide my junctions going this way it'll be 55 coming out of the uh, so that interchange at Cicero instead of calling it something like Santa Fe Junction I'm gonna call it the Cicero interchange but then its nickname will be Horn Show Junction because every train that runs through there is going to give some type of horn show. Um, and that's the best thing about Trains 2022 is that you have 
uh, horn triggers. So the big complaint with everybody is like, oh, my AI doesn't blow for the crossings when I'm on a train and AI trains pass me, they don't blow for the crossing. With Trains 2022, you can fix that. You can set up a horn trigger and your train will blow at that crossing. Crossing over. Yeah, it says speeding because I hadn't updated the track speed for the for this area. Um, the last speed limit I put was 55, but it's so far back there. Plus, I'm going the opposite way, so I hadn't put a speed card back there for me. It's just kind of here. And I know if I pause the game and throw one in back there, it's not going to update it. Can they get fired by stepping outside of the cab? They can. Um, it kind of just depends. Like a new a new person two months into the job, definitely you'll get fired. Um, someone who's been working for the railroad 40 years and has never had an accident, no, they're not going to fire you. Which is why the ones that do it are usually the ones that have been working there for years, decades even, because they're like, they're not going to fire me because they know that I'm safe. They know that I'm not going to screw up and fall off the side and get run over. You know, they, you know, they, they're smart about it. They're like, you know, I, oh, I only, I, I step out, I wave for two seconds and I walk back in. It's not like, oh, I'm standing outside while the train's going 50 miles an hour for 30 miles, you know. It's a, it's a whole different, um, mindset with, you know, versus a new person, like a new person as a real fan, you know, sees it as, oh, you know, I want to step out and say hi to my friends, you know, and just thinks about it like that. But someone who's been working there for years thinks about it like, oh, I'm stepping out to wave, but I got to make sure that this, that, and the other. Like, even Robert, when Robert would step off of a train, when it was stopped, he would step off to talk to me. He was like, I got to make sure you had on his vest, he had on his safety glasses, he had on his boots, he had on his radio, he had he had everything. He was like, I have to make sure that I have everything on. He was like, even if I lean out the window, I have to have my glasses on. He's like, I have to have my safety glasses on. And I, you know, he's like, I, they want me to have my vest on. signal did I set this up with a oh no I didn't edit in surveyor classic nope not that this yes so that'll be one two three four five six okay Oh, but I don't remember what thing it is, what crossing it is. Uh, I'll just do a random one for now. DT. Five, one, five, and three. I'll set it to 450. I'll do a tutorial on this um, while I'm building. Did I do five one five or five oh five? Five one five. Yep, five one five. Okay. TT five one five and five. Uh, track sign is visible. Two. Set this DT five one five and six. Oh, forgot the capital DT. And two. 
Okay, you should be good now. So this is a diamond crossover, which I found on the download station. Okay quality for what's available. Um, I haven't found anything better, so this is just what it is. I don't even, I've never even used it, so we're going to find out today how it goes. <laughs> we're going to find out today. just a little bit okay now we wait and actually while we wait I will be right back Okay, I'm back. Uh, do I play Run 8? Um, I used to. We're, we're trying to start back up. Um, the three of us, uh, Nias, Sean, and uh, myself, are trying to get Run 8 version 3 going as a group and just play it as a group, probably live stream it. Just kind of play it regularly. We still got a couple miles before this signal. Ooh, that is some really warm ginger tea. Ah, that feels so good. Just warms my whole body up. Oh wow, did I put this one three miles away? Oh wow, oh yeah, that's right, I did.
So yeah, as you can tell with my signaling, this route will not host monster trains regularly. It will be very abnormal to have a massive train on this line. What is my favorite heritage unit? Oh my gosh, did I make this thing four miles away? I hit the last signal before we hit milepost 11. Good grief. Um, my, my favorite heritage unit, because of where I live, it's 8099. I do like the Southern. Because of my favorite color, it's 8098. As far as my favorite paint scheme, my favorite paint scheme, I'm stuck between the tuxedo of um, 1070 and when she was new, 1071 looked really good. And but I will say 1065 1065 and 1070 I'm stuck between the two paint schemes so those are my top four the funniest thing is I have 1065 from Join It Rail I have 1070 from Join It Rail 8098 and 8099 I have my four favorites in the game and they all have custom horns. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We'll do another one from in the cab. That way you can hear the difference. So it actually does pretty well over the diamond, and it looks legit. And you see the gates, they don't keep ringing, but they stay flashing. You can set it to where they don't ring at all. You can set it to where they ring when it comes down and then stop. Or you can set it to where they ring all the time. Or you can set it to where they ring when it comes down, stop, and then ring when it comes back up. Okay, now, by miracle of God, our lead power is going to change miraculously to hands down my favorite engine to run on this entire game. I mean, just I didn't even plan this I did not plan for this engine to get the best horn which is why I just changed the number at random today it's gonna be the barcode but 
this thing is off the chisane. Window open. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna go. We're gonna bring this baby up to full speed. Just cause I want you to hear this Doppler in full effect. This this <laughs> this horn. I'm smiling right now just because the horn is just so good. It's just, it, it just is. It, it's just. You got another crossing coming up. Somewhere. Yeah, we do. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Let's. Let's do this. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys were on my last stream, or if you've watched some of my trains videos, you've heard this engine. But, whoo boy. This one is... This one is for real. Like, I don't even remember what, what real life engine this horn came from. But whatever it is, I hope to one day catch it in real life. Because this thing is awesome. Since that one doesn't have gates, oh, what? I never put the opposing signal? Interesting. All right. Here we go. wide angle then you can get right up on a signal and get that. As we get faster and the JR track sound or not track sounds but the bogey sounds for the rail cars ooh so good. And the EOT makes noise too.
to come on over to that crossing. There it is. Actually, let's go in the interior cab, now that we're at 71. Because we'll slowly start dropping. Now I'll show you what it's like from the inside. Enjoy. So yeah, I'm thinking about moving the track speed back down to 55, since that's how fast you can go with a train this size in realistic driving mode. And realistic driving mode is the only way to hit, hit the horn from inside the cab. I mean, you can hit the button, you can use the hotkey, but it gives you that super drawn out horn blast. Sway is a thing. If you notice, the engine rocks back and forth. You see all three of them rock back and forth. Actually, even every car, you can see they lean into frame every now and then. Yep, just like uh, like the Louisiana Rail fan said, they, they do move side to side. Just like real life, they, they rock back and forth. And the track condition is set to 100%, and they still rock like this. You should see when the track condition is terrible, they rock like crazy. Can't go over 20 miles an hour with one of them looking like it's about to two wheel. See, I hit the horn button, the hotkey, I hit it the right time, or the right sequence to do a shave and a haircut, but in the outside view, it doesn't translate that way.
Oh, we're slowing down. Why are we slowing down? Am I going uphill? No. I was about to say, most of my routes are flat, with the exception of super elevated curves. I really am slowing down. What is going on? I'm in full. All my brakes are off. Am I going to have to add some more power? And... Now. There you go, that way you can see all the variety in our cargo. This is all just random. It's not like a, what is it, train, train sim, where you can actually set up what container show up in what car, like what kind of container. This is just all random, random building. These cars built themselves, picked the random containers to put. All I did was say 53 footers of this uh, type just pick from a random selection. I will add some mid DPUs, but I'll actually, I'm going to do one better. I'm going to do you one better. Let's get some other engines in the mix. I love the dash nines from our, our mods when they're in notch eight because they have howling turbos so I'm gonna give y'all that I'm gonna put you there I'm gonna separate here Push you way, 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 way back there. Yeah, so that's about to be our whole train. We're about to make this thing monstrous. Let's throw in 53 foot spines and then I'll throw in train creation failed
Boom. And then let's get us a... ECC. Generic C6M. And a not so dirty Dash 9. I'll put you guys cab to cab. Actually, no. This is what <laughs> this is what 28R yesterday should have looked like. It should have been three by three. Instead of running all six up front, they should have done it like this. 4717, random number. Okay. Now I'm gonna give you TTX 53s. And boom. And oh. Ay, ay, ay. More. I think that might be long enough. Let's bring you up. Now, the easiest way to build all this would be to completely change our current cargo load. And the way you do that is by grabbing a car that's already loaded, hit the copy button, it'll change everything but the car you clicked, and fill in all the new stuff. So I'm gonna grab you. You're gonna watch all those spine cars load up. One, grab you, two, grab you, three. Look at that, we got a dirty pub group patch, the old CN intermodal, or new maybe, ABF trailer, night transportation, RNL carriers, CR England. Look at that, it gave us better stuff. Heartland Express, okay. More Walmart. Hey, that's it. That's the one I was looking for. YRC. It gave us a YRC. Motson. That's another one that comes with that pack. With that Wigwag Simulations pack. More YRC. CSX. The new CSX. UMAX comes with that pack. CH Robinson. That used to be on a 265 a lot. Not anymore, but it used to be. I hadn't seen one of those in months. Canadian Tire. Look at that. An E trailer. More CSX. Hmm. I don't think I have enough EMD. <laughs> The life and the struggles of someone who loves EMD. I need more. And what I'm actually going to do let's go up. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I have these, too. Which Norfolk Southern recently bought. So you know what? One of those made it on there. Looky there. And you, my friend, are going to be cab to cab 
to what would have been your friend. What happened to Triple Crown? Oh my gosh, that thing is dirty. I didn't even know they could, I didn't even know they modeled it this dirty. Ooh, good grief. Triple Crown still exists. Um, you still see them from time to time. Uh, they're mostly patched over. Or not patched over, but like faded out. Now I have to see. Did I derail something? Did something derail? Because usually when it does that, it's because something derailed. Are these all there? Okay, these are all there. These are all connected. All of these are connected. No X's, no X's, no X, no X, no X, no X, no X. No X. Okay. We're still good. Okay, it's just... I'm really struggling. You see, you see that? It's like struggling to move. So I'm gonna throw you into emergency. We're gonna start you from a standstill. Oh no, we were right there by that curve. Okay. Well then. Oh no, buddy. This ain't no 28R. This is my baby. This is 214. start you at the signals I forgot to replace or I forgot to add and then while we're here we're gonna grab them and add them open up my pick list uh, whiskey district signal four boom boom rotate should be a green right yeah green signal That's the one thing I hadn't added yet was uh, defect detectors. Let me see. So yeah, I'll be good to still jump ahead by the time I run through here. So let me set it up right there. And we're on main. Technically, main one. Throw a relay box. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. universal. And then you're the dirty one, right? Or are you both? Or you're both kind of dingy. Weathered. Okay, this is a trackside item. Norfolk Southern, uh, Malpos, let's go with 214, 
we are on main one. No axle report length. Actually, yeah, report axles because this train is that big. Yeah, report axles. Um, D E D mile pose two one four. That should show up on. I know it won't because it's not a named object. Or, well, it is an object, but I don't have that enabled. Yeah, so we're gonna set up right yeah We're gonna get them on this curve. This is. Yeah, it is super elevated. Okay. Bet, 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 bet. Is this super elevated? Yes, it is. Cool beans. All right, we're all good. Drive session. Let's go back to where we are. Oh, we are not far enough back to get up to a good enough speed to come flying through there. Barcode might not have the life in it. She better. Oh, so I'm going to change that number. There we go. Yeah, put us all the way back here. Seven by three. Let's go ahead and bring this time back. Nice and foggy weather. Um, well, I actually don't celebrate Christmas, so I just stayed home, honestly. Uh, my mom and I just chilled at the house. She's watching a movie right now, and I'm doing this, so. I was just uh, building up on the route all day, and once I got to a good enough spot, I started the stream. I meant to start about, I don't know, 12 hours earlier, but it took me so long to build that junction at the very end of the route. It just, it, it just took so long, so I, I had to, had to wait a second. All right, let's bring up that acceleration. Are we close enough for a horn? Yes, we are. Actually, I want to be on the sun side.
Definitely, what a horn. I told you, this that's my favorite custom horn that I've ever found. And that, that's, that goes across multiple games. Like, even Train Simulator 2020, when I was adding in custom horns, none of them were as good as that. That was... Whew. Like I said, I don't even remember what real life engine that's from, but whatever it is, I hope to one day get it on video, because <laughs> I want to hear that from my own ears. ACC AC44 dash 9. But you see, that's what the dash 9 sounds like. When it's in notch 8. Alright, we're already up to 60. At the length of that train this is the end of our train way over here and then the f wait hold on we are one two three four five six seven seven baseboards long that's well, that's about two and a half miles we'll see what that equates to with these four auto racks up front and all these engines it is definitely trying its best. All three, all four of them are trying their best. Look at that cab sway. Oh, we just hit 70. Booyah. There we go. This is what I was talking about. Have I ever thought about working for the railroad? I've thought about it, but I like the photography side of it. And I know that working for the railroad takes you away from everything that you want to do in life. Um, 
that's why if you're young and have no significant other or family, they tend to hire you quicker because you're easier to keep on the job all the time. At least that's the way Robert and Justin explained it. Um, Robert was like, yeah, it's unfortunate. He was like, but they, they look for people that don't have anybody else. They look for people that don't have anybody because that means they can keep you there dedicated to the work. Not, I mean, that's not to say they don't hire people with families, but I mean, if you have two people with the same type of job experience and one of them is solo dolo and the other one has a wife and four kids, they're going to go for the guy that's solo dolo. Seventy. Is this super elevated? I can't remember. No, it's not. I didn't super elevate that one yet. I super elevated most of these curves, but not all of them. I ever work for the railroad definitely there will be <laughs> we're it's funny because in the in our group chat today we were talking about horn shows and we were sharing some videos of our favorites and uh i was sharing some that i found on youtube and then it hit me i was like oh doug puts all these guys to shame and i just shared i just even just the first one i was like yeah this this one Omar too. Omar, Doug, everybody else that works for the railroad on our side of the line. <laughs> That's why uh, Michael used to call Doug uh, Gillespie. He used to call him uh, Gillespie with the horn because it was like music. He, Doug would literally make it like music. He had different rhythms, different patterns, different. It was different every time. Like it was, it was unique. Like. No two horn shows are the same for any of my videos. There we go. Coming out of the fog down there. Yes, on uh, 237. I posted that on YouTube. That's part of my EMD horn show comp, I think. Omar was on 1072 two times. There was the one time that he was on 237 with 1072 leading, and then there was another time I had gotten off work late at night and he was leading. He was on 153 with 1072 leading. Yeah, that's what Nias was sharing. Julia's horn shows. Um, she retired, according to Nias, um, but he, he said her husband might still work for the railroad.
where we are. Are we close to that yard yet? No, uh, we're getting there. Let's see. Seven from there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stand right on this crossing. Actually, let's go interior. Now, I didn't put whistleboards this far out. So my sequence is all visual. Actually, let's do it like we have dash cam, or like an exterior GoPro. Tell you what, I can't wait to hear the length on this one. I, I can't wait. I know it's it's gonna be something. The longest one I built was 17,529 feet, and that's on video. It's on my YouTube. <laughs> it was uh it was a 23V that I built, custom symbol, custom routing, um running basically like 245 does or it was 17 engines with three in the middle uh, a csx et44 leading with up bnsf kcs norfolk southern in the power i mean it was full on it was a foam fest it was a foam fest for sure and they were moving they were doing 70 miles an hour through downtown sanford it was a pretty cool video <laughs> to say the least it was awesome Far right. 
main one, that's right. That switch, that switched, okay. High clear. on the dock. How about that? <laughs> Talk about 1111 barely has the power of the life in her. She didn't even load in for a second there. Okay, let's jump ahead here. Get set up. If I'm going to zoom in so we can get that Super elevation. Super elevation. Okay. Let's see here. Now I set my draw distance a little bit higher. So, we should see her pop in before she even takes that first curve. Because the first curve is... Yeah, right there, so... And there's our signal coming into frame. And our junction. Set up still. That set up still. Make sure everything's still set up. That's good. That's good. Okay. We're all good. All good. All good. There's our engine shop in the background. Whew. This train is going to rail this turnout. <laughs> Here she comes. Here we go. There's that first super elevation. You can see her lean in from here.
this that dash nine as DPUs don't sound real good when he comes by. You can already hear him. Double red hub group was our initial last cut of cars. I'm ready to hear this readout. Good grief. Look at that lead. Look at that lead. Mile post. Two. One. Four. Point. Zero. Main. One. No. Defects. Repeat. No. Defects. Total. Axle. One. Zero. One. Two. Length of train. One. Seven. Zero. Five. Six. Ah. End of transmission. I was 500 feet short on my record. 17,056 feet. Woo, that's insane. and then come over and then that crossing into another junction and then yep then we'll be near CP Twin Towers did I set these up with um... no I did not or did I that won't we crap what track are we coming in on <laughs> uh, this is still double that's still double that's right single track staying on main one all the way down cool that's what I like to see all right this is how many crossings three yeah technically Wendy's 4 for 4 and 5. 
five. Nope. And four. Four for four and four. Four for four for four. Four for four for four. Four for four. Um. Closing, then stop, then ring again while the gate is opening. Track display two. And this will go down. Actually, let me grab you. snap. No, you can't be five. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So you're seven because you are technically, you are technically You guys want that tutorial on TRC crossings during this stream or do you want it later on because I can do it during this stream this crossing. And then, because of our speed, I'm going to increase this to 550 instead of 450. And have you go down way earlier. I can do that, uh, I can do that tutorial now. It won't take me but a, like a minute or so. Here, I'll just, I'll go ahead and do it. Um, did I save that bridge? So you'll have your crossing, you don't have to put an actual uh, grade crossing, like this is, uh, this is metal grade crossing, two lane, two track new. You can get this on the download station, you don't have to do that. Um, you can just do like, um, like I do road 7 for my roads and then road 4 for crossings that don't have a, a, a legitimate grade um, and then I just as you can see because these are yellow and those are white it's because these I dropped them a little bit I dropped them to 11 negative 11 to allow the track to show through just a little bit um, I'm actually gonna oh no 
that's that's what I meant to do. Yeah, we'll raise it. We'll raise it to four. Cause the track kind of sticks up a little too much. Yeah, it's about as realistic as we're gonna get with the road crossing. Where it was is safer for the train, but for the road, it was looking a little janky. Um, okay, so you're gonna need two things for your crossing. The first thing is TRC trigger. You're gonna need TRC4 trigger for closure of rail crossing. Uh, most people place them way out here and have the arrow facing the crossing, uh, which makes sense because when the train's coming this way, you want it to close the crossing. Personally, don't do that. Put them right here on the edge of the crossing and have them face away from it. The next thing you're going to need is gates. You can just pick whichever one do you want. Why is it not? There we go. Why is it? It wouldn't automatically add it. Um, I'm going to rotate them so they at least line up with the road. Now, you're going to want, for in order for all of these to work, they have to have a similar name. So you saw how I was putting DT blah 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 blah. Um, since this one is, for an example, 4 for 4, I'll change that back to what it'll actually be later. But since that one's 4 for 4, I'm going to name this one 333. Three, three. So you'll do... See, for example purposes, I'm going to leave... I'm going to do this one. Yeah, we'll just do this one first anyways. So then you'll... You don't have to call it DT, but you at least have to have a certain, you know, prefix. So 333, and I'll do and 1. Okay, and this is the front radius of the trigger, so this is the radius of everything in front of the arrow. You can always hit the help button, it'll bring up a little a guide. So the front radius is the distance at which an incoming train can be detected. Um, so you have the front radius where the arrow is pointing, and you have the rear radius where the arrow is not pointing. Um, the front radius is how far away to close it. The rear radius would be how far away to open it again, unless you have another trigger on the other side, in which that would be, you know, how far away another train would close it. But if you have a train going this way, from the bottom of the screen to the top, on the left track, this trigger here on the bottom left, once the train passes over it, the gates will go back up at the distance you set it at, unless something else is coming the opposite way on the same track, and then the other trigger will then come into play. Usually set it in increments of 50, so I'm going to do 450, and then I'll usually for the rear I'll do 100, that way it leaves enough space for the gates to come back up. So you see we did 333 and 1, so then for this one we're going to do DT. Then you'll set that one up the same way and then with this one you will do DT333 and 3 and then with this one you'll do DT333 and 4. I'll set it up. I'm going to set it up to 450, 100. Now for the crossings they also need to have a similar name, just like the uh, triggers. So we're going to set this one up, DT333, and 5, since we have four triggers already, we're going to set this one up as and 5. Um, now these are the bell options, ring continuously while the crossing is active, which everyone hates. Ring while the gate is closing and then stop, that's the one I always pick. Ring while the gate is closing, then stop and ring again when the gate is opening, or no sound if you have like a quiet zone and you don't want any noise. Um, you can also set the tracks to be visible, because typically they're not, but you can set them up to be visible. So 
we'll set this DT333 and 6 and visible 2. Save changes. Double check, make sure everything is good. If you want to make sure that everything's connected, click on one of your triggers, scroll down, it'll show the list of attached objects. Close it, reopen it if you need to refresh it. Um, everything should be attached. I don't know why for some reason mine aren't. Oh, there it is, okay. So that one's connected to two. Two is connected to one. Three is not connected to anything. DT, three, three, three. Oh, because I added an extra three. Three, 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 and four. There we go. See, that's why I always say double check. Always double check. Now I can open it again. It says none. That's three threes. That's three threes. This should be connected. There we go. Okay. So everything that's attached. So our first trigger, three, three, and one. 3, 3, and 2, and 3, we are and 4, and then our first gate and 5, and then our second gate and 6. So everything is attached. Now we're good. We can jump into surveyor, or into driver rather, and everything will act the way it should. And you'll see it when we get to this crossing, because um, I have these two inner ones on a second delay, so you'll see the outer ones come down first, and then a second later, the inner ones will come down. Let's see where are we? There we are. Actually, I'm gonna move us closer that way you can see it in action. Come on now. Oh boy, this is a long, long straight away. So now that we've got our TRC crossing set up, we can jump down here. I threw another one here, but I hadn't built the actual crossing in yet. This will be the turn off for uh, PVR's commuter train to take the Grady Branch. Oh, we actually, we're actually getting higher than 70? Oh boy. Is this super elevated? I can't remember. Oh, it is. I did super elevated. I think that's on a 15. see it cycles through just like it does in real life so let's jump forward I'm gonna right click up in the sky to jump ahead over and over right click in the sky just move us all yep all the way We're 
still so far away. Man, I really built this route to take some time. <clears throat> so, my goal with these routes, the reason why this, this route is going to be so big, is my goal with these divisions is to make them accurate. Like, to cover this entire division, it's going to, even at, even at 70 miles an hour, it's going to take you almost two hours to go from end to end. It's going to take you a couple hours. It's going to be completely, like, not completely, but as close to realistic as possible. All right. It should be good here. Let me double check my switches real quick before we unpause. Yep, because they're all locked now. Since we're closer, I'll go ahead and jump to here. And then we'll wait here, that way you can see how this crossing activates. You can see the delay on this. So the inner ones won't ring when the gate's going back up, but the outer ones will. Just like the inner ones don't have the number of tracks, but the outer ones do. Because the inner ones, like, there's two tracks here, but one over there. So it would be confusing to show three tracks there and then two tracks here. Because then they'd be like, where are the other three that I'm supposed to cross? But... Okay, here we come. So it's just like how it is outside of uh, uh, Cannon Yard, how that first crossing has staggered gates. They call it, I can't remember the official name for it, they call it something, but it's basically the gates are staggered. Um, one set comes down before the other. I hear my dash nines already. Just drink some tea. Uh, what? When did I go into emergency? Are you serious? Ah, oh my gosh. Yes, switch to the roaming camera. <coughs> Look at that glitching. It, it can't handle what I'm doing. Because this train is so massive. Or it may, yeah, that might be it. Because I'm zoomed out so far okay guess we are gonna have to start from back here then it's a good thing we're in the arcade driving mode because I need to get back up to speed quick longest intermodal you've heard was 
15,000 feet or NS? Oh, yeah, yeah. They try not to get them bigger than that. I mean, that's insane. They try not to get them that big. I mean, <laughs> I say that, but 27A came down through here with... Oh, that's right. 27A came down through here one time with 236 cars, and then the train for New Year's this year was four Union Pacifics on a 27A, and it came down with over 200 cars. shout out wigwag simulations wigwag simulations they just posted something two hours ago uh, it's a post saying who said Christmas has Christmas giving has to end just yet they just released the CSX SD50 modern mega pack CSX X CNO and X BNO early SD50 pack Seaboard SD50 pack CSX SD40 2 Modern Mega Pack, CSX Pre PTC Jeep Pack, LLPX SD40 2, LSRC MP15A C Pack, Seaboard X Seaboard, uh, Seaboard X SCL GP38 2 Pack, Gondola Pack 1, uh, 50 Boxcar Pack, Chris Hopper Pack, WWS Track Sounds Version 3. WWS Crossing Bell Audio 1, an SD40-2 pack, a generic Beth Gone pack, a P5 horn, and a 2024 horn pack. Whoa, those boxcars look good. <gasps> That's what that is. I couldn't figure out what that was. Um, Wait, what? Oh, BNSF fictional Jeevo pack. They're war bonnets, but they're Jeevos in Santa Fe and BNSF. Oh, I'm definitely picking those up. Come on now. Come on now. All right, we're back at 70, good.
know what? For those still watching, we might jump on to GTA in a second. Proceed to drink more. Okay. So we're just gonna get him flying through this TRC crossing just so I can show you guys how that works. just in case it decides to throw me into emergency again. Okay. Right click on the sky to bring me all the way up. And there we go. It's crazy how my mic picks up noises like it's being bumped, but I haven't touched it. All right, we're gonna get him flying through this last crossing and then we're gonna jump out and jump into GTA for a bit. It's been a while since I've played. They had, uh, I'm kind of scared to play. I don't know if y'all heard, but they had their the GTA 5 source code got leaked, which is basically the recipe for how the game works. So they were telling everybody, be careful playing GTA 5 online because it might be a little strange. So I'm going to jump into a solo session, which is what I always do because I can't stand people in that game. They're, they're just... It's crazy that game was meant for adults and now there's 13 year olds flying around on oppressors blowing everybody up for no reason. The game used to be, you know, blow out some steam on some NPC pixels, but now it's blow out some steam by murdering people you don't even know. All right. Here we go. should be going down. Yep. The next one's down. Oh, not yet, actually. There it is.
from the, uh, I do like that some of these interiors are actually modeled. Because once this area is detailed, we'll be able to sit right here and just watch things fly by. Or stand outside and watch it. Hello, real fan Xander. You just caught us catching our last shot of this 17,000 foot intermodal running 7x3. Speaking of which, here come the DPUs. tutorial on TRC crossings. been pretty good. How are you? So you'll, when you set your rear trigger, the radius, the rear radius of the trigger, that's how long it'll, or how far the train has to be before the gates go back up. sunrise but uh, yes since you guys just joined I'll show you guys what we've done with the route so far so do, 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 do. Uh, this route or this portion of the route will hopefully be released in late March um, this is Cannon Yard way down here at the bottom of the of the uh, Cannon Division Big old fuel pumping area. A lot of power will sit here because a lot of trains will come out of here. Um, here's the main office and yard tower with some gas pumps for the MOW vehicles. Storage tracks for OCS cars and stuff. Storage tracks for maintenance away trains. Um, this is the first intermodal storage yard the second intermodal storage yard, the third intermodal storage yard, and then the intermodal ramp. Um, these textures are just so I know where the yard is or where the yard should be. So this will be the first yard here, and then there will be a little passageway to get to the second part of the yard, which will be back here. And then there will be a third yard where this orange is, and then a fourth yard on the opposite side. Uh, trains come in from the BNSF Milo subdivision. Um, they come into the yard under this bridge. They'll cross over and then they'll take one of these three inbound tracks and loop around to come in through the back of the yard. This is uh, Trains 2022. Um, outbound trains will come out depending on which way they're going. Um, They'll come through this crossing, which has staggered gates and uh, a super elevated curve, which looks super good for fast trains. Let me just say that. It, it looks so good for fast trains. Um, I included a little, like, 
rail fan lookout point. It'll be a little gravel or dirt road with some rail fan standing here on the curve. I mean, look at that. Look at that lean. Look at that lean. That is insane. Um, they'll go north through downtown Cannon. There's the Amtrak station. They'll come through a couple of crossings here, pass some commercial, some residential, gas station, Wendy's, a bank, a couple plazas, abandoned house. I'm going to cover that in woods. Uh, a little shopping center here. Elementary school, the school bus. Well, if you like coal, uh, here comes your second shout out, Wit. Um, wowitchtrains.com. Here, I'll type it in the chat. Wow, it's trains.com. That website, um, hosted by the WIT simulations WIT of course being wow it's trains um, he just released the CSX Riverton sub which has a bunch of uh, coal uh, industries on that route so this is the cannon branch a little grain facility here uh, trains will come around through here it'll be kind of wooded They'll come all the way down. There'll be this little downtown area with some industries, refrigerator cars we dropped off here for the Burger King. Um, super unrealistic, but whatever. It's a game. Kroger, uh, a church, KFC and Arby's, a gas station, a derelict house, railroad cafe, a fire station, Safeway. Just little, little things. I think there's a Best Buy down here. Cafe, Family Dollar. Yep, there it is. Best Buy. Um, with its own storage tracks. Trains will keep coming down. There's going to be a scrap metal place there. It'll come all the way around. That's a... Uh, we have reefers and milk tankers there. Um, it's distribution center. Going to have boxcars here come down to this double track area here is the cannon branch um, uh, railway museum or not cannon branch railway but uh, cannon branch riverside museum I found this sign and I was like okay I guess I'll rename it to riverside um, where is my Museum train. There it is. Cannon Branch Museum train. Oop. I'm gonna bring you in. I'm gonna flip you. cars here, PRR coach, Rock Island diner, an old superliner car, which is loaded, uh, a couple Burlington coaches, and then Norfolk Southern donated a 70M to the museum. And it's got a great horn. I totally forgot I put that horn on there. So then the museum train every day will come out down this branch and they'll loop all the way around the whole thing, passing by little towns and they'll stop here and then reverse all the way back to the museum. Um, grain trains and um, grain trains and log or wood trains take this branch because they loop around this track come all the way in to this double track 
I've been following you since the Kid Kango days. Keep manifesting, brother. Stay true to your craft, King. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. I certainly will. So you've got this uh, triple crossing times two. Um, when this area becomes detailed, this will be a great spot um, because there will be a few times where a grain train will leave at the same time as a log train and they will both come out and roll through town at the same time. Um, so here's the grain facility here and a track for them to roll up and reverse all the way around their train, roll up engines here, reverse all the way down this track and come all the way back around or just back in and then this will be the this is the log facility so they'll bring the log racks in here they'll get cut down into lumber loaded onto center beams and the center beams will go out um, back to the where's the main line there it is so back off the branch we have the crew change office further up the line keep going keep going keep going went through all of this on my last stream um, now the end of the line is something I extended recently and I built I went ahead and built Cicero Junction So Cicera Interchange, which will be called Horn Show Junction, is like Santa Fe Junction in Kansas City, Missouri. Um, trains will cross over and under each other, going their separate ways. Um, the, in the direction I'm facing is the Cannon Division. Uh, this way is the King Division, named after Real King Nias. This direction is the Talladega Speedway going eastbound, and then going westbound is the Union Pacific, actually it'll be the Norfolk Southern Oceanside Division, and it'll branch off to become the Union Pacific Magnolia Sub, and then the Oceanside Sub will curve to the left and kind of go southwest. Um, same with this way, the King Division will have a track that branches off to become the CPKC Melange subdivision. So basically, when this district is complete, it'll have this entire division and six others branching off from this one spot. You love the views? Yeah, the views are great. I went ahead and um, I hadn't done it all the way up to here, but I super elevated some curves. added this yard for the Spring River short line. I super elevated this curve. We ran a train through here earlier, uh, 17,000 foot intermodal at 70 miles an hour. Um, here is the Potter Valley Road Grady Branch, which crosses here. Uh, this control point is CP twin towers because it's double interlocking towers back in the day one tower was for the main line one tower was for the branch line eventually with ptc and all that they didn't need them anymore but they kept them standing so twin towers is the name of the control point um <laughs> there's our train right there our uh massive seventeen thousand foot intermodal Still going too. Still flying. Here's our three DPUs. Dash 9, PC44, PCC. And then our head end power is a foam fest to say the least. 1111, 2 9. KCS dash, dirty KCS piece that doesn't want to go there. There it is. Followed by two UP Gbos. I 
I have seen uh, engineer Mike Barnett, um, his cat view. I like those videos. I watch them a lot. I used to watch them a lot more when I was younger. Um, this is Chris Scott's camping grounds. This is uh, one of the viewers from last stream. He said, you should have a camping ground. And I said, you know what, I should. So I threw a, a spot for the camping ground down and I put his name on it. So he'll have his own little spot on the line. So if anybody has any ideas of what they want or what they'd like to see, let me know and uh, we'll see if we can get your name on here somewhere. Um, super elevated curves all over the place. I didn't do them here yet either. And then this spot is kind of reminiscent of La Plata, except it's reversed. Uh, stations on the left, track curves to the right, but it is also super elevated. Um, some more super elevated curves here. But yeah, that's that's the route. That is the route, or the route so far. Um, it's even at 70 miles an hour, it'll take you a couple hours to run the whole line. I mean, we are, where, right around here? We're about halfway down the line and we've been running for about an hour now. So it's taken us an hour at 70 miles an hour to get down the, halfway down the line. So, yeah, it's a, uh, See, I'm an exit driver. The route has been modified, but I don't want to save the session. Right? Yeah. something real quick here. Okay. Cool beans. Okay, so that's good. Um, how many mileage of track can I make? <sighs> I... Well, the plan for this entire route is to have four separate districts with about six divisions each. So if each division takes you a couple hours to run, we're looking at about, I don't know, a thousand miles of track. old units like ST70s and 60s? Um, yes. So my short line, the Spring River Railroad that's on that division, the short line uses Conrail 40-2s. They have their own engines, but they're small units. They're like GP38s. So they use for Conrail 40-2s that are still in their paint. Access my Steam Year in Review. Oh, they're having a winter sale. Euro Truck Sim is four dollars. Wait, four dollars? Good grief! 
That is cheap. <gasps> no way. They made a they made like a modern version of uh of uh um Ravenfield. That is awesome. Okay, let's let this thing load in here. Come on. It's starting to lag on me. Okay, The Sims has got to do an update. So once that finishes, we'll jump into uh, Ye Old Grand Theft. Okay, I'm going to pause my music. Actually, so this is WIT Simulations page. Um, he's been working on this route forever. This is the Riverton sub. That is the entire route right there. Um, you can watch his streams as he built it and detailed it. It it's. It's an amazing route, to say the least. I mean, look at these screenshots. Um, the Ally units, those are custom reskins. The Conway units are custom reskins. I mean, the, the route is amazing. It looks absolutely fantastic. And that's just his route um the other people on his team uh like andrew is working on the bnsf lincolnshire subdivision and sometimes um i think his name is chris the guy who made the this route i think his name is chris um sometimes he'll play on that division on stream and that route looks awesome Folkestone Rail Fanning module is able available for download. If anybody wanted to watch uh, Folkestone stuff, so no, I'm not <laughs> not y'all them. I'm not part of this team. This is this is a whole separate group. They're I'm I'm a one man job right here. Um. So that's WIT simulations. Then there's also Wigwag simulations, which Wigwag just dropped some in. They just dropped a massive load of freeware. They just dropped this, the 40-2 Mega Pack, the Seaboard, um, the XSCL, the SD50 Modern Pack, the P PTC. Um, the SD40-2 pack for Con uh, not Conrail, Colorado, uh, MP15, early SD50s, BNSF fictional Jeevos, which I said it then. When I saw it, I said I was going to get it, and I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it right now. Yeah, I know, not enough storage. I'll get it later. Um, I use a different card for my Google One, and I haven't updated it yet mainly because Google likes to allow people to do microtransactions for no reason. And I've had like hundreds of dollars swiped away in days by repeated microtransactions. So I keep any Google payments, I keep them on a card that has no money on it unless I put money on it. GP38-2 mega pack, that's been there, but everything from like here up is new as far as engines and then rolling stock gondola hoppers all of these are new this is new uh, let's see routes no still the same routes horns that's new that's new let's see 
dependencies. Nope, not dependencies. Miscellaneous, that's where it is. Yep, the track sounds version three, crossing bell audio, those two are new. Um, the sky pack, you saw that beautiful sky that I had. Um, actually, I don't think that came from them, but they do have a beautiful sky pack. Um, the containers that I had came from here. They are the 53 foot containers updated. You can see them here. ABF YRC Prime, um, CH Robinson Hub Group, Patched Hub Group EMP, Patch Pacers EMP, TMX JB, E Motson, APL Expo, ABF, FedEx Canadian National, Canadian Tire. I mean, full on, like, great stuff. They also made a a 40 foot container pack as well with 40 foot containers. You see Italia there, Mayersk, uh, China Shipping, Ocean Network Express. Yeah, these guys put out great content. Um, if you want to know where you can find all the stuff for trains copy down this this URL right here copy down that whole URL actually I'm gonna copy it and I'm gonna throw it into chat paste send so that website will take you to every trains site for third-party content whether it's freeware payware American not American it'll t you know website from 2004 website from 2022 it'll take you to every website that's still up and available let's see what I show you so these are the American websites and then uh, was that New Zealand It? Yeah, I downloaded them. Okay, I can get rid of that. And that. And that. Okay. Hey, all right. Okay, let me do this. Grab my cord. We're going to plug that in right there. Yeah. turn this volume down just a little bit just until we get into the game okay everything should be good to go for us to jump in jump in here display capture properties automatic don't capture cursor because I'm not even gonna use it so I use my controller. Image by game. Okay, we're good. Let's jump in there. They have snow. I have yet to play this game with snow. So let's see how the snow is. I also need to check on my my chop shop. I bought a chop shop. I had to unfortunately sell quite a few cars to get it, but I bought one finally.
Oh, that's right. Snowballs. I snowballs too. That's right. That's right. I forgot about snowballs. Delivering presents to the citizens is not without his response. Make sure Santa gets out alive. <laughs> okay. See that? That. I don't know how I feel about that. I've never automatically spawned in my car. See, now I'm. Sp Interesting. Okay, let's turn this volume up. Let's drive in the snow. Look at that wheel spin. Can't even get up and ooh, look at that. I can't even drive this this car. Too much power. Too much power. Too much power. Okay. Let's go to Oh, actually, got ourselves a stash house. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Do I have... Yes, I do have grenades. Cool. Oh, no control. My bad, my bad. Look at that, I'm spinning out. Down. I was about to say, isn't it down that alleyway? No way. Okay. Hello? Okay. That's right, I did give myself a mustache. I couldn't remember if I updated, because I got a little stash. I'm finally letting my stash grow in. Okay, easiest way to do this, most people go in there and just start shooting everywhere. I go in way more sensible about it. Because um, you can't destroy what's in the case because it's in a safe. But you can throw a grenade. And it'll blow up three of the four. Boom. Oh, all four of them. Nice. And normally it blows up three because the fourth one's in the corner. But I guess they all ran... <laughs> towards me. Um, now I have to find the sticky note with the code 241081. There's only a certain amount of codes that it will be, so if you memorize what the different ones are, it's very easy to figure it out. 241081. And then there's going to be people chasing you, which is why I like to have grenades and stickies. I'm going to get my Mark II out. Boom. 
There's always four cars that they send. Yep, because there's the other two. That was easy. Ooh, you have a nice car, and I would really like it. But I know I can't have it, because I have to buy that. And I don't have the money for it, because of my chop shop. Ah, uh, leave the area, it says. Okay. See, now that's what I should have bought, something with snow tires, although this is only going to last for like two weeks, so. Or actually, this might be the last week of it. Yeah, I had to sell my uh, I had to sell my Vigero that used to sit right there. My precious little Vigero, I had to sell it in order to afford the Chop Shop because the Vigero is one of the most expensive cars in the game because it is the fastest car in the game. It is faster than the sports cars, believe it or not. The supercars and sports cars have great acceleration, but the Vigero, the muscle car based off the Camaro, has a higher top speed. Which is why it's a million and five hundred thousand dollars. What do I want to drive? Mm, probably my trap. No. So I'm going to be doing chop shop stuff, so my Karuma, my armored Karuma. <clears throat> okay. My chop shop is over the... Nope, that's my vehicle warehouse. Where did I put my chop shop? Uh-oh, did I lose it? <laughs> What is that? Oh, a robbery task. Oh, these are things you can do for your, uh, these little, like, mini, almost like mini missions. Register as a boss. Okay. Oh, that's right. <coughs> Forgot to do that. Boom. Contact Jamal and acquire for the Duggan robbery. I don't have enough money to lose to lose a robbery. Oh, yeah. Well, with my thing, it'll actually show me. There it is. My chop shop. Drifty, drifty, squirrely, squirrely. Ooh, that was a good snow drift. Thank you. 
Alright. Over to the computer. Use the planning wall. I did the VIP pass. Bypass module. So listen, we're not going to be able to drive that car out of the arena because of those immobilizers that Mace Bank put on all their show cars. Mannyweather has the only thing that can shut those off. It's called a uh, bypass module. So yeah. We gotta get our hands on one of those things. Too bad I don't know exactly which lockup has it, since they got jammers running to hide their locations. Of course, right? Now if you take care of those, we're in business. Health and ammo, body armor, super heavy armor. Good. These are my... S I thought I already deleted or blew up the signal. Oh no, that's right. One of them was on a roof, and I couldn't get to it. Which, this one's probably on a roof. Actually, no, it's on the 13, so it's... Yeah, it might be. My bad. Don't roll off, don't roll off. Okay. Still got headlights, good. No brakes. Guess we're going up this way. Oh. Express lane. Boom, right into him. My bad. No brakes, no brakes, no brakes, no brakes, no hezzy. Oh, it's at the wait station. I had a feeling. There's gonna be people up there shooting at me. It, it feels so weird seeing the wait station like this because you see like the GTA RP servers, the wait station is always, it looks completely different. Of speed so I can check the map real quick. Pit maneuver. So much easier in the snow. Pit maneuver. Actually, what am I doing? I'm taking a long way for no reason. No. Don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it, don't lose it. Oop, I hit my mic on accident, my bad. Taking panorama. Over the tracks. 
Oh, lost it. Ooh, that was... <laughs> movie magic. Last one is in grape seed off of the 13. Now that's one thing I do appreciate about the GTA RP servers is that you now know street names. This is Marina. Ooh, almost pit maneuvered me. This is Panorama crossing Algonquin. Uh, that's something, that's Alhambra. This is East Joshua Road, but I'm going westbound. Or no, this is eastbound. Eastbound East Joshua. Passing Marina. And that's CV Road that leads to Grapeseed. Just gonna cut right on across. Where is this thing? Is this thing in the city? Oh no, it's in Polito. Oh. Come on. Get me up there. Yeah! Good old Karuma power. Oof, the snow dropped me down to 30 frames a second. Now I'm barely at 40. That's one thing I don't like, because you get all this, the snow flying in your face on the screen. Lag, 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 lag. Had to switch out my earbuds. Okay. Heavily guarded, ain't it? Yup. Yup. So I'm going to. It's an indestructible bush. That's pretty cool. Ah, the lag is real. See, 
Now I see brake lights, so I know that people are there. One shot. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> dude's on the gun. That's why. Get me again. There you are. I see your feet. was literally built like a tank. Okay, that shit's good. That shit's the fire department responding. We're good. Oh, no, 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 no. Get in the car, 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 get in the car. I know they're gonna spawn right in front of me, so let me body armor it up, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna snack it up to full health, full body armor. Oh no! Oh, I don't have any, I can't do any throwables because I'm in this car. I can barely shoot behind me because I'm in this car. Well, I'm going to have to get ready to shoot in front of me. I'm going to make traffic, I'm going to make traffic drive crazy. Just to give me a fighting chance. Tire. I was like, why did he do that?
is all of my new IRL videos members only. No, I just haven't uploaded. Um, <clears throat> I've been trying to put together a like last of the year mega video. Um, so I've been, you know, trying to figure out which days to go out. Um, but work has me, you know, working night shift. So the times of day where I usually rail fan and do video editing are spent at work. And then the times that used to be spent at work are spent sleeping because I'm on night shift. So I don't get to sleep like a full, you know, eight hour like normal or seven hour, whatever the case may be. Oh, I guess we're going this way. Ah. Good thing this thing is armored, otherwise I would have went through the windshield. Drift testing. Failed drift testing. Oh, the window's broke on the back side. They could have broken in the front. Ah, not over the edge, not over the edge. Yep, Mirror Park Boulevard. On the RP server, this is still, yeah, now it's El Rancho, but back there it wasn't Nicola. Nicola was a side street. Oh. I realize now, I hate the snow. <laughs> There's some great drift moments, but other than that, it's terrible, and I wish it would go away already. Planning wall. Go on. Go on. These tasks should all be pretty simple. Just head to the location and hit me up when you get there. Okay, I'll do that one, the optional one. Alright, so bad news. The Duggins got shipments of armor coming in for their private security. What the fuck do they think is gonna happen at this family outing? Damn! Anyway, I don't think you want to deal with all that, right? So, the good news. We can make sure that armor never gets to see the big day. Head to this locker, and then we'll be able to find the other shipments. Go to Sandy Shores. Um... Como se dice, I want a new car. Not a new car, but I want a different vehicle than the one I'm currently driving. So I'm going to... I'm gonna take your Bobcat. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shit. Damn degenerate. Degenerate? It's on, Sean. <laughs> You're the one that looks like a hippie. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Degenerate? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mechanic. You need 
need some, huh? One of your rides? You need some, huh? One of your rides? There's my dubster. Ooh, office garage. That's right. Forgot I had stuff here. Patriot. No. Definitely not a Patriot. That is not gonna go well. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot I had that stuff there. My agency has the Granger. I'll bring it by. Okay, I got stuff to do. Look at that. No traction. Where is she? There she is. Big blue. I just need something with brute force, that's all. Now, I need to change my haircut. I'll do that after this. Speaking of, I'm getting a haircut on Wednesday, so maybe I'll get it to look how I will. Well, no, because I. Oh, well, yeah, I'll probably play this before New Year's. Don't get in my way, don't get in my way, don't get in my way. Let me cross, let me cross. Hey. I love doing that. Oh, rock. Oh, rocks, rocks. Roxanne. Oh, indestructible, indestructible. You turn. Oh, it's at the 24 7 in Sandy. And this is Alhambra Drive. That's correct. Oop, hold on. I gotta respond to a text. I feel like that random placement of the Bearcat is going to play a role here. Am I going behind it? Yep.
suppressor. I hate the snow. I hate it. I hate it. I'm gonna have to duck and cover, right? As soon as I go in. That's how most of these things are. As soon as you go in, you immediately start getting shot at. Oh, kind of. shipment list. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. and then I'm gonna wrap around shipments, but we still gave ourselves an edge against a few of them.
boss. Some wheels? I can bring them around. I'll get back to work. What service are you looking for? Okay, okay, I'll get you out of trouble. No problem. Hey, so there's a suburban nearby that carries a shit ton of LS Panic merch. We'll blend right in at the arena wearing that. Why, hello, how you doing? Give me a shout when you've made your mind up.
Okay, guys, I think that's going to do it for the stream. Um, we did a lot, and I'm getting tired, honestly. <laughs> I'm getting real sleepy. Um, I have work in about 11 hours, so I'm going to get some shut-eye before I go to work. So, hopefully, I will, well, I might stream tomorrow. I don't know what time of day, but it'll be tomorrow at some point. Um, but thank you everyone for joining. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, I got past 10 likes, so that's good. Um, considering it's been a while since I've done like regular streaming, so thank you for that. And I will catch you guys next time.